All right, we've uh, we've uh, started our uh, crossing of the Gulf of Alaska. We do have a potential jumping off point a few hours from well, from here, and the village of Yakutat about 24 hours from here. Based on the current forecast, we're looking good to get to uh, at least Yakutat. After that, looks like we may have to stop there, but we'll see. It's been tough finding a weather window that'll get us the whole way, but it has. we're doing what we can do. So let's show you a picture out the front. Because it looks amazing. Yeah. All right, out the front windows. Very nice. We're in Cross Sound. The bit of land there to the right is Cape Spencer. The lighthouse at Cape Spencer. It was starting to get a little lumpy. It's a little hard to hold the camera still. As we rounded Cape Spencer with our buddy boat, it was a little lumpy. So we decided we would go ahead and stop in Graves for the evening and then get going again first thing in the morning. We knew this was a nice potential anchorage and that the weather was expected to settle down quite a bit overnight. All right, Jim, you're wearing sunglasses. Why? Because it's sunny out. Because <laughs> <laughs> the sun is low and we were headed right into it. So the polarized sunglasses really helped me see a lot better in the sun. And I don't have to squint. All right. So what are we doing? We are going to um, go into Graves Harbor or Inlet or whatever it's called. And the uh, sea state's coming straight toward us on our way toward Prince William Sound. And it's pretty, pretty lumpy, even with the bulbous bow. It's pretty pitchy. And it's supposed to calm down. So we're going to go in there and anchor maybe for six or seven hours, pull up anchor during the dark, and uh, continue on our way. But we're going to go take a little oh. bit of a short break from, Excuse uh, me. <laughs> from these conditions. And it's okay, though. Paravanes are phenomenal. Uh, bulbous bow, it's doing its job, but still it's, uh, you know, maybe, I don't know, five to seven foot confused seas. Oh, gosh. So maybe Rosie can film a little. We got off the angle directly into them, so it's actually much better now than uh, it was. Side but, note, look at the mountains ahead of us. Holy smokes, that's yeah, impressive. Yeah, pretty incredible mountain. Oh. Yes. And the bow is moving a lot, but you get the idea. Well, certainly you can pitch. Look at these nice sized waves. Oh. But on a better note, check this out. That one was a little anxious and has now settled out. And that one has stayed settled the whole time. Yeah, so really <laughs> nice to be in a little bit of lumpy water and the cats to be perfectly fine. Still not sure why they hang out up here in the pilot house because it's a lot calmer back in the salon. Exactly, but they like being with us. Here we are in the back. There's our buddy boat Igloo behind us. And here we are looking out the port side. Here's our chart. We went around Cape Spencer. We're heading north and the seas are directly on the bow, right on the nose, which means we're going up and we're going down. So we diverted course to go into Graves Harbor, which is a harbor we had talked about going to anyway, and maybe taking a short break there. So it's much calmer now that we have turned a few degrees to starboard and we're going to work our way that way. Stopping in Graves turned out to be a great idea. It was completely calm. After we got Sea Venture anchored, 
Igloo, our buddy boat of 47-foot Nordhaven, captained by Jeff and Shannon, came up alongside and rafted to Sea Venture. It was a great opportunity to watch Jeff's great skills with a single-engine boat. And the Nordhaven is just a gorgeous boat. It includes a bow and stern thrusters that allowed him to bring the boat alongside and then just scoot it right over to Sea Venture. We're heading out of Graves Harbor and uh, gonna make our way northbound again. We're following Igloo, our buddy boat. And we'll see how the waters are this morning. Hopefully the winds have settled down a little bit and we get a little bit smoother ride as we work our way up the coast. By 8.30 the next morning, we left Graves and were headed north toward Yakutat. Looking at the weather forecast coming up, it was clear that we would need to stop in Yakutat to avoid some significant low pressure coming in with 25 or 30 knot winds. The ride out of Graves was a little lumpy, but was completely doable, and we had an enjoyable ride as we headed northwest across the Gulf of Alaska. Traveling along. What you would think is northbound across the Gulf of Alaska toward Prince William Sound, but really is westbound. On the chart, we're here. I've been cruising about uh, nine hours and uh, have about 12 hours to go before arriving in Yakutat uh, early tomorrow morning. Sea settled out. Yeah, yeah, the sea has calmed down uh, just as forecasted. So that that feels good, you know, to see the forecast, predict what it's supposed to do, understand what the plan is, and then to see it actually develop uh, as expected. We are about 80 miles out of Cape Spencer, north of Cape Spencer, about 70 miles south of Yakutat, so a little over halfway. In our run up to Yakutat, we've got about 10 hours to go, 10 or 11 hours. We should be there around 7 tomorrow morning, uh, 7 or 8. And um, there's two other boats out here, Igloo, who is our buddy boat we're traveling with, and there's a fishing boat coming our direction, so I don't know who that is. But other than that, it's been pretty quiet. The seas have settled out. There's not too much wind chop on the seas, but the swells are definitely keeping it busy and making it so getting around the boat, you have to hang on. And um, yeah, it makes it kind of tough to walk or do much. Uh, I think the hardest thing is the boredom of sitting here, just dealing with all the swells as they come by. But other than that, it's been okay. And uh, it's been interesting. We'll see how tonight goes. Well, here's the 10 p.m. view. By now, it's just this lumpy, rolly kind of stuff. No real wind. Otherwise, relatively calm. As Sea Venture just continued to move forward toward Yakutat. Good evening. It's about 11 p.m. It's still daylight out as we make our way to Yakutat. Um, I shouldn't say really daylight. It's still light out. So you can still see the water a little bit. Um, certainly I can see the lights in Igloo, but there's really nothing else out here. We're just slogging along, working our way to Yakutat. We're about 40 miles out, and uh, we expect about a 5 a.m. arrival. So nothing more to report, except uh, we're continuing to make progress, and the weather is holding, so that's good. All right, in the pilot house here, um, still continuing to bounce around quite a bit. We have kind of our nighttime settings on uh, out the window. That direction is igloo, a lot of reflection. Got our depth sounder and autopilot, our gauges, of course. And then uh, the radar is on now with only one target, our buddy boat, and our chart set to nighttime view. So we're, uh, here on this long coastline, working our way another, uh, we have 40 miles, not quite 40 miles to go until we get to Yakutat. 
got the radar on, but I wanted to show you the floor. And this is kind of what it looks like out the window looking forward. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you. And it really does give you kind of a view out the window. It's just a little bright on the computer screen is my only complaint for that. And we already have a tinted screen over the top of it to try to tone it down a bit. But at any rate, that's uh, what we do see out the window since otherwise, that's it. So it gives us a sense of what's out there. We made good time on our approach to Yakutat. Here we are about 4 a.m. with the entrance bar ahead. With our 5 a.m. arrival, we needed to anchor off just from the docks until we could talk to the harbor master and figure out where we could go. This time, Igloo anchored, and it was our opportunity to raft up to them while we waited for a dock assignment. The harbor master ended up having us just come to the float plane dock since no float planes were scheduled for the few days that we anticipated being in Yakutat. It worked out great. There was a big huge dock right in front alongside where we were and it gave an opportunity for Blake and Barkley to be the first off the boat and to start exploring their new home. All right, we're leaving. We're leaving the harbor. We're gonna go play for the afternoon and the rain's kind of stopped, so that's really nice. And we're bundled up, so let's go. See what's out here in Yakutat. A local fisherman told us where to go fish in the tender off of a big rock that's locally called Halibut Rock. One nice halibut from today's efforts. These are arctic tern eggs. They just dig a small shallow space in the sand and lay their eggs. Here's some nice looking fish. Perfect. Yeah. The ultimate scavenger checking out the bear carcass. All right, there's the eagle. And if I pan to the left, there is a guy skinning a 
bear carcass, which I think is what this eagle is very interested in. It turned out the gentleman working on the bear hide was with the Alaskan Department Fish and Game, helping a local hunter make sure the hide was prepared so that none of the bear that was shot during the open hunting season went to waste. He then intentionally left a few small scraps out for the eagle. On the final leg of our uh, journey to Prince William Sound, we have about a 35 hour run from uh, Yakutat here today to the entrance to Prince William Sound where there's an anchorage about an hour inside. So that's the plan. Our friends on their boat are behind us that we're, that we're doing the transit with. So I think we're all set and ready to go. You can look outside, it's beautiful this morning, but we're still in the harbor in Yakutat, so gonna go a little ways and cross, cross the Yakutat bar, and then we will be on our way. The forecast is for good, good sea conditions today, so we're hopeful that holds for the next day and a half, and uh, otherwise just get ready to relax and Hang find on. something to do. And hang on, is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit of hanging on. We'll see. Thank you for watching. Join us next time as we complete our crossing of the Gulf of Alaska. Until then, wishing you no wind and flat seas.